All right, let's pivot to some adult shit. We we didn't we didn't clown and been inappropriate enough. Sometimes you will have a conversation with somebody, and the things that you hear and what they say is absolutely not the same thing. It's so different. Yeah. Have you caught that on recording yet? My husband did. That, and it was it's embarrassing a rough to listen to because I'm speaking out of straight trauma. Like it's yeah. it's not what he said, but it's it's insecurities yeah. and within me that I'm hearing. We had that on an episode mm -hmm. where after the episode I was I was fuming angry and when I went back to edit it I started mm -hmm. crying and was like, I'm so sorry. Like this is not at all how I perceive this moment because it's on wow. film. I know your tone wasn't there, your facial features wasn't there, everything that I was taking in in the moment wasn't real. Wow. I was having a full blown episode during an episode and we ended up posting it. Yeah. And unless I was to give you the number, you would have no idea that that was mm -hmm. even a thing. But I was, I was fuming angry afterwards because I thought that she was being very condescending and, and shitty towards me. And it wasn't mm -hmm. at all the case. Wow. So that, that borderline thing could be very real. And that, that comes into being able to switch from an emotional process to a logical process and thinking and asking probing questions and yes, being able to critical. communicate proper, mm -hmm. properly. Ah. So. Mm. I don't mean to stop it in the middle of this clip, but this is a super important conversation. I can admittedly say that I have made this fucking mistake before. I could be having a conversation with somebody. Somebody says some shit. The shit triggers the fuck out of me. I start wigging. The person is trying to explain, trying to calm me down. and I ain't trying to hear shit. All I'm doing is giving that nigga, the, that person the business. Motherfucker, don't you say that. And then in hindsight, going back in the conversation and that person telling i did not say this you're saying i said i did not say that and i'm having to go shit i'm a piece of shit you know what i'm saying or or i i i'm yo i've read text messages and got mad and misinterpreted the whole text message and they'll be like can you please go back and read what i just sent you i ain't gotta read shit i know that I'm not. please go back and read. and i'm going oh shit my bad so uh I mean, I know you guys are perfect. You know what I'm saying? God made y'all look. Y'all clean, got nice little haircuts. Look at both of y'all. Can y'all understand? Do y'all understand this? Have y'all experienced this before? Please. What's the context of that whole thing? Um, I don't know how they got into the conversation, but I thought the clip was a great conversation piece. I'll tell you, okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was real. I was watching it, right? And I'm like, my first instant was to point the finger. Yeah, that's me too. I definitely, I definitely been on the end of that, being that person that like, damn, like I ain't mean it like that, right? I think my only thing is, I hate when I can be the one that apologize for being wrong or be open to like misspeaking, but when a other party can't be, if that makes sense. That's why. But yeah. what about you? What about you mishearing something? No, you, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying all that. Yeah, I'm saying all you, that. Like you totally misinterpreted everything they said. No, hundred <laughs> percent. I've been on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been that person for sure. Hundred percent. I just don't like when, like, like you said, Jake. Somebody come back to you. You got to be like, damn, I was a shitty person. My bad. I apologize. You have some people who want to die on that hill. Like I did not say that. Yeah. Or I did not act like that. Like, bro. Unless I record you, you like. So at that point. We can never come to some conclusion because unless I record you, you're never going to admit to how you're taking it. But in the moments mm -hmm. of when you come to me and be like, yo, I did not do this or, or I did not say that. And I got to be like, my bad. I was just triggered. I, I don't like when it's not reciprocated on the other end. But looking at this video, mm -hmm. it made me think of myself because I'm like, yeah, it's been some times where I just got frustrated and snap. You just go. Off. And that should be yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, that being especially that's why I like uh, I'm not not to be this guy, but that's why it's important to like really take your time with this alcohol shit. Because a lot of times it be under the influence. Mm -hmm. you, you ever see yourself drunk or something and you be like, yo, that wasn't me. Like that wasn't me. But yeah, yeah, you I wake up that next morning and I already know. Like you wake up the next morning and be like, I know. Yeah, I know that's I was wilder. Oh. I, I'm be honest with you. That's one reason why I don't drink a lot when I'm out with people, I keep it very, very minimal. I will not drink. Now, when I get home, I'll get smashed drunk and get mad at myself and want to punch me in the face, which I've punched myself before. So, but like, yo, when you, oh, I can't. I have to be. I have to control that. Like, I get bad. So, like, and I tell people that all the time, bro. If you know you can't control your shit, don't drink when you but, out the but house. Again, you I'm gonna be straight up with you. For me. Right, some people might not be as forgiving as me, but for me, it's about the response afterwards. I can understand you getting triggered, 
I can understand you getting upset, right? As long as we don't cross a certain level, a threshold, a boundary, right? But if I come to mm -hmm. you and I let you know, if you open, you can apologize. Even if, even if there's some things that I might, I don't know, that I might be having mixed up a little bit. I'm not saying you can't defend yourself, but if it's, 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 a, it's, it's a thin line. Like some people will try to like be little what you're saying to make themselves like impaired. I don't know, more powerful, right? Or they'll, or they'll use the fact that they're triggered as their defense. Yeah. Well, I was triggered, so this is what it is. Yeah. Yes, but you like can't help being triggered. You can you can help how you respond to being triggered. For example, me and, me and Nick had a conversation, right? And it was I think it made us closer pause because like I I brought something to him and like he was like, "Yo, my bad," but I also think and I'm like, "Okay, I guess you know what I'm saying." Like it made the relationship better. Like you have some people you try to come to and you try to tell them. And they don't see themselves wrong. Like they can't see past them their, their own nose because they only can see themselves. It's like, bro, like I don't, I'm not about to, I don't have no reason to try to down you. I'm telling you something because it hurt my feelings. I'm you, some people don't understand how hard it is to put your pride to the side to approach them about an issue that they have a, a, a problem with. So then they get re-triggered and it makes it worse. That's why I say I'm yeah. all about the response. Like some people, are like, now you can't do something to me and then get away with it. Okay, I get that. I'm not like that. I'm all about the response. If I bring something to you, depending on how you react to it, man, it can make it can make the friendship better, to be honest. And that's one thing I actually appreciate. My bad, Jay. That's uh one thing I will say the shit happened with, uh, with me and you, Jay, recently. As niggas, I feel like a lot of times, bro, we just push it to the side, don't have a conversation, mm -hmm. and we just mm -hmm. go back to just kicking it, hanging out, this, that, and third, a lot of that. Yeah, but you got that actually, feeling in the back of your mind always yeah, there. Yeah. Always there, like I don't really fuck with this nigga like that no more because we ain't get to have it, you know what I mean? But to actually take the time to reach out to the person and and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Why you why you laughing? I'm about to say something oh, to be okay. going. Just, yeah. no, just to take the time to have that conversation and and like you said, it actually be like a I'm I'm listening to understand and see where you came from instead of just like a Oh hell no! Nah. This nigga over here, da 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 da. da. Yeah. Like, nah, that's yeah, yeah. I respect that. And that's what men do. I got not all men. No, not I'm saying that's what that. men should do. That's what that's what oh, yeah. that's. If you're if you're a man, that's what that should be a part of your characteristic. Like you got other niggas mm -hmm. that that feel way they don't even. Go ahead, Jay. I wasn't trying to cut no, you no, off. No, 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 I, oh, no, I just I got triggered in my own mind, so I just I let that go. <laughs> I'm I laugh because anybody that has a close relationship with Jay Hill, you have to bump heads with this nigga at some point. Like it's not it's not gonna work. Like yo, he's and 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 the reason why is two things. He's he thinks differently, and his like his perception is different. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to like start to understand that so that when you have conversations. Cause I've had this conversation with him because he'll say some stuff and I'd be like, yo, that shit would trigger the shit out of me. But then he'll be like, that's not what I meant. I was trying to say, and I was like, man, that's not how you put that sentence together. <laughs> that's me. hundred percent. That's me. For sure. He'd be having his, I'd be like, bro, like, that's not how you say that. Yeah, like, be, yeah, you know? That's me. I, it's, you it's you gotta know your friends. To you you gotta, gotta know your friends. That's why I remember Bank. Remember Bank when you told me about your man when he was on the names? He was like, uh, acquire taste, some shit like that. I'm like, I understand. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did say that. I'm like, yeah, you I'm might, it's crazy because like, people, and shit. you might not think I'm that bad, but I'm like, bro, oh, I understand. Like, yeah. and it's not on purpose. Yeah. It's not intentional. It's just like, it's, I don't know. It's bad. I don't know. And, and I tell people this all the time. Some of the most beautiful relationships, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like great friendships, a lot of times are from people that are just different and out of the box. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you were to be patient with this person that people normally would either just be hot, complete hot or cold with, you'll feel, you'll really realize how amazing some of those people are. Like, yo, my, yeah, my boy Will is a fucking psychopath, yo, but he is a beautiful person, bro. Like, great person. Jay Hill is crazy, but a beautiful person. You know, it's and it's like, go ahead. Now I'm saying it's funny because, like, even I, I read my zodiac, it says like a childlike behavior, and it makes me think of child like you know what i'm saying like children and i'm not proud of this but like children say what's on their mind right, right. they be like oh, why are you missing the tooth or something something like that and they'd be like you can't just say that yeah. and, and like that'd be me <laughs> because like yeah. it's just ignorant it's, it, it, it's no harm yeah. i'll be trying man i'll be trying that's the same thing that's that's the way i grew up 
But the crazy part is I realized that it's because of the result of my family. Mm. Like my family is very direct. We don't we don't sugarcoat nothing. So like I had to learn once I got in high school, even once I yo, the, you know, the biggest thing I learned in corporate America, I don't function well in corporate America. I don't know how to do the 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 like i'm gonna say it but i'm not gonna say it like i'm gonna say it but i'm gonna cover it up with some shit i don't know how to do that so and like and i'll be confused when corporate niggas talk to me I'm like what the fuck are you saying and they'll be like saying all this shit and i'll be like are you trying to say that this ain't good just say this ain't good or just tell me i'm fucking up don't go into a whole diatribe about some bullshit like that's i i hate that shit mm. but one of the reasons why i've learned how to deal with complicated people is because I realized that I'm, yo, like understanding people's perceptions of themselves, I had to understand that people perceive me differently. Mm. People see a big black dude walk into a room, I got a big ass mouth pause. I, hey, I'm yo, like, what I'm, the? Yo. What's I, going yo, on? Chill, chill, chill. You know, the, like I'm loud, I'm an over, top, over the top personality. A lot of people are uncomfortable being around me. Like, yo, I, and I get it. I've had a lot of people get offended by me. A lot of people that my direct conversation, yo, they'll be like, I can't fuck with this dude. Da, 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 da. So I've learned to be sensitive, more sensitive to people because of this experiences that I've personally had. You know what I'm saying? I've had the and because. I was a sensitive person and I'm still a sensitive person growing up. I had to learn to be more sensitive and listening to other people. Mm. So like right before I'm getting triggered or when I'm getting triggered, I need to stop myself and stop saying, stop getting upset. Listen, I have to say that shit in my head. Yo, listen, yo, just listen. No matter how mad you getting, listen to the person mm. and try to understand what's going on before you get upset. Make sure you fully understand what's going on. 